Welcome to the program, and let me introduce our guest today. Lindsay Williams served as missionary on the Trans-Alaska Oil Pipeline, where he became friends with some of the ruling elite of the world. Lindsay, welcome to the program. Dan, thank you for allowing me to do this program today. Gulf of Mexico oil gusher. The people of America must know the truth about the Gulf of Mexico oil gusher. The truth. The oil, believe it or not, is not the greatest danger. What comes up with the oil it is what is deadly. Now, this is going to be very startling, what you're going to hear today. The oil itself only destroys wildlife and fish and oysters and shrimp and the pristine white beaches, the marshlands and the coral reefs. What comes out of the ground in that gusher with the oil is causing the death of humans and unborn babies. I knew I must produce a CD as quickly as possible that I could get the information out to the masses of people quick enough before they can stop it from being given because what you're going to hear today is not what you're hearing on the national media. But when you understand where my contacts and information came from, you'll understand the truth of it. I contacted one of the Mr. X's of my book, The Energy Non-Crisis. The truth is, is quite different. And I, I wanted to find out from a man who would be willing to tell me exactly what is happening. So what you're going to hear today is catastrophic. Now, please get your pencils and paper and take notes. You will probably want to review this CD numerous times in order to get the intricacies of what this man told me and then at his request uh, and, and on the basis of the people I knew, I have contacted numerous inside oil men and have even gone to BP employees themselves and have found some information that you're going to find extremely interesting. Please, I beg of you to send this program to every person you know. Please send it to every congressman, every senator. Get the information out to any human being that you know that's living in the Gulf area and the state of Florida because they are being drastically affected by what you're going to hear. Well, first of all, let me begin with some background. Uh, you, you must know why all this started, where it came from, and what brought it about. In 1970, the Russians started drilling what they call Kola SG-3 wells, an exploratory well which finally reached a staggering world record depth of 40,230 feet. Since then, Russian oil majors, including Yukos, have quietly drilled more than 310 successfully super deep oil wells and put them into production. Last year, Russia overtook Saudi Arabia as the world's biggest single oil producer and is now set to completely dominate global oil production in the sales for the next century. Now, what Russia found was unusual. They found, when they drilled that first super deep well, they found what is called abiotic oil. Let me try to explain. Please write the word down so you can spell it correctly. A, the letter A. Biotic, B-I-O-T-I-C, oil. This is oil that is from a chemical process that is forming somewhere in the heart of the earth. This is not fossil fuel. In fact, when the Russians found what they did, the textbooks are now going to have to be rewritten on oil. Because oil, as you remember back when you and I were in school, we were all told that oil is a fossil fuel, that it comes from rotted, decayed trees and plants and animals that were buried in the earth many years ago, and as a result, you find it anywhere from one to 5,000 feet down in the ground, and they said that that's where it all came from. That is not true quite to the contrary. When the Russians drilled to that super deep depth, they found that oil is being formed by some chemical process way down in the heart of the earth. And as a result, they now know that all of the shallow fields, uh, I know that we thought at one time that Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, Mexico, 
that these fields were deep. They aren't. They are very shallow oil fields. And Russia found <clears throat> that from way down in the depth of the earth, these shallow oil fields are being replenished. In fact, the oil in Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, Mexico, and other countries that have it in shallow oil fields, including America, these shallow oil fields were originally formed by abiotic oil that was being produced by some chemical process way down in the earth where no man has ever been. Can't go there to see how it's formed, but it is happening. That means then that peak oil is a total misnomer. There just is no such thing as peak oil. Oil is not giving out. There's more and more of it every day. We will never have a shortage. And if anyone ever uses the word peak oil, you know they don't know what they're talking about. Let them go back and look at the Russian discovery. This abiotic oil is in super deep oil wells only. Now, Russia had sense enough to drill their Cola SG3 wells on land, not in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> I know, I'm getting around to the Gulf oil gusher. And that's, that's where I'd like to go. Now, I had to give that background because BP knew about Russia's super deep Cola SG3 wells going to over 40,000 feet and basically British Petroleum. BP decided they would do the identical same thing in the Gulf of Mexico. The only difference is BP was so stupid as to go into the water of some ocean in order to do it. Now, I contacted one of the elite. I'd been hearing this for the past month, month and a half, about what was happening in the Gulf, and I was never satisfied with anything that I was given from the media, so I picked up the phone the other day and called the Mr. X of my book, The Energy Non-Crisis, who is one of the elite that knows everything that goes on behind closed doors, and I said, what is the truth? And he told me. And what I found out is staggering. In fact, it frightens me. And I know enough that it's very difficult for me to be bothered by anything, and I definitely don't stay awake at night wondering because I've heard too much already. But this man told me something that frightened me. It appears that British Petroleum, BP, which is not an American oil company, it is a British oil company, was trying to do, it appears, now you, you notice that word, because nobody's quite sure yet. After all, this has only been done by Russia and then attempted by BP. It appears that British Petroleum was trying to do what Russia did and drill into a super deep well. The difference, BP was stupid. And I, I don't hesitate to say that our government officials should have never allowed this. After all, we have monitoring agencies out there that are supposed to determine what oil companies do, and they allowed BP to have the permits to drill such a well, and they should have never done it. At least Russia did it on land, and BP was so stupid as to drill in the ocean off of a floating platform. Did you catch that? Most oil platforms are anchored to the bottom of the ocean but not this BP platform. This BP platform was a floating platform. Its position was controlled by sophisticated GPS equipment, and as a result, they drilled in water in the Gulf of Mexico that was 5,000 feet deep, just from the top of the water to the ocean bed, 5,000 feet deep. Preposterous. Should have never 